Welcome to Neo Royal, House of Pricey Cardboard. On today's episode of Commander Gameplay, we are back at the old apartment for a game with our friends Raphael and Trista. Tristan will be playing his partner pair of Vile Smasher the Fierce and Crumb Ludovic's Opus. This is a Grixis spellslinger list that wants to burn the table with Vile Smasher by playing spells during each player's turn. The deck is also able to copy spells and play them back from the grave to never run out of gas. Raphael will be playing the Gitrog Monster. This is a land combo deck looking to use Gitrog as a draw engine. Raph tuned down the list a bit by removing discard outlets because it was just too fast. Beside the outlets, the rest of the deck is very well optimized and is still quite a challenge to face. Kelly will be playing Ghoul Caller Gisa. I'm recording this video on the big Wizards announcement day and they just revealed that Gisa is getting a new heart in the Commander Spellbook Black Edition. So let's just say that Kelly is pretty hyped. This is Zombie List looking to flood the board and take out opponents through combat damage. The deck is very well tuned with all the best mono black goodies. For myself, I will face a combo deck with my own combo list, Arcades the Strategist. The deck is looking to cast pretty cheap walls to can trip through the deck and either take out my opponents in true aggro fashion or get to my Axe Bane Guardian and attempt to generate infinite mana. Shulane and Kodama have been added as they tend to play similar strategies and my opponents really need to be on the lookout for them. Raph gets to start this off. <laughs> And land drops a myriad landscape. Trista land drops Terramorphic Expense, cracking it for a basic swamp. I land drop a plains, and Kelly land drops a swamp. Raph land drops his own Terramorphic Expense, cracking it for a swamp as well. Trista land drops a mountain, and cast Thermo Alchemist. I land drop a Cross and Verge, and Kelly land drops another swamp. She casts Dread Horde Invasion. Raph land drops a forest. He cracked the Myriad landscape for two forests tap. While Tristan land drops a really crowy tower. And cast Is it Signet. Followed by a top vessel. Go Rams! He activates the alchemist to deal us one damage. On my turn, I land drop Breeding Pool untapped. I then crack Cross and Verge for Prairie Stream and Canopy Vista. Kelly amass one at her upkeep. She land drops a Swamp and casts Ayara, first of Lot Twain. And during the battlefield, she drains us for one. Raph land drops a Swamp and casts his commander, the Gitrog Monster. No! Rabbit. He land drops Wooded Foothills as his additional land drop, immediately cracking it, which triggers Gitrog for a draw. He gets Overgrown Tomb untapped, and uses it to cast Crop Rotation, sacrificing a forest to get Lake of the Dead. <laughs> lake of the Dead ETB, and Raph sacrifices a Swamp. He then taps the Lake to make 4 black mana. Casting Cryptgast. Uh, so I go. <laughs> <laughs> Theme Vents. Tapped. He casts one of his commander, Krom Ludovic's Opus. It's alive! <laughs> Heading into combat, Chrome goes to Raph. Trissin uses the combat step to tap his alchemist as well. Arcades! On my turn, I cast my commander, Arcades the Strategist. <laughs> Let them break themselves on the walls of our castle. I land drop a Nazorius Chancery, returning a land to hand and pass. Kelly amass one at the upkeep. She top decks and plays a swamp, before casting Solemn Simulacrum, getting another swamp with the ETB. At Raph's upkeep, Gitrog demands a sacrifice. 
He sacrifices a forest and draws. He then casts Lotus Cobra. He then drops a forest and uses the lake once more to sacrifice the tomb for four black. He then casts Ramunap Excavator. Tristan gets to draw with Chrome. Raph then land drops the hooded foothills as the second land for turn, cracking it for a basic. He casts Sky Shroud Flame, searching for two basic forests untapped. With that apparently endless stream of mana, he casts Harrow. <laughs> Getting two swamps on the battlefield. He cycles Desert of the Glorified, drawing two cards. And then cycles Tranquil Thicket for two more cards. Raf casts Titania, Protector of Orgath. Entering the battlefield, he puts the Fetchland back into play, tracking it to get a draw, an elemental, a mana, and a basic land. He then finally heads into combat, sending Gitrug to me, while Lotus Cobra and Crypt Gas attack Tristan. <laughs> Raph then goes to his cleanup where he attempts to discard to end size, but Gitrog draws him two more cards and then he discards Tireless Striker to end his turn. Crystal then drops Winding Canyon and start by activating the Alchemist. He then casts Ragdos Charm to exile Raph's graveyard followed by a fact or fiction, picking me to make the piles. He picks the pile with Spellseeker and an island. He forgot about the alchemist on the Ragdos charm, but does it for fact or fiction. Tristan then passes. An angel up planes and casts Wave of Reckoning. Kelly reacts by activating Ayara to draw a card. The wave then does a pretty good cleanup of the table, leaving everyone with one creature. For my combat, I send Arcades to Raph. At Kelly's upkeep, she amass one. She then draws and casts her commander, Gold Caller Gisse. <laughs> Wake up, my lovelies! There's work to be done! <laughs> Raph then drops a swamp and casts Nissa Vital Force. He then uses the lake to sacrifice a swamp, adding 4 to his pool. He plus 1 Nissa to animate the lake, but more importantly, untap it. The lake eats another swamp and Raph recasts Gitrug. He then drops a swamp from the grave as second land for turn and casts World Shaper. <laughs> Tristan then drops an island and casts his second commander, Bow Smasher the Fierce. <laughs> watch out, watch out! He then casts Spell Seeker. Entering the battlefield, he puts Counter Spell to his hand with the worst possible art may I had. He then pass. I cast Wall of Blossom, drawing two on ETB. <laughs> I cast Wall of Junk and then drop an island. I then cast Wall of Denial. Doing my part, I send Arcades to Nyssa. At the end step, Kelly draws a card with Ayara, sacrificing the army token. At the beginning of her upkeep, the token comes back. She then drops a swamp. With our friend Kvol, which is very nice. Against friend. Friend. <laughs> got a frog in me. She casts Bloodline Keeper and pass. At Raph's upkeep, the Gitrog monster hits a whole forest. The Lake of the Dead then claims another victim, and Nissa untaps the lake, making it a 5 5. The Lake Dane produces 4 more black mana, and Raflin drops a Bojuka bug, giving Tristan a taste of his own medicine. He then land drops a Golgari Rot Farm as second land for turn. On cast, Arcades gets destroyed. 
Raph then heads into combat, sending World Shaper to Tristan. On attack, Raph mills Dronyard Catacombs, Grizzly Salvage, and Cabal Coffers, triggering Gitrog. In second main, Raph casts Sylvan's Crying. Tristan reacts by activating Thermo Alchemist. Still in reaction, he casts Narset Reversal. Power Smasher triggers for 2 to me. Tristan then tutors for Watery Grave and retaps the Alchemist for a damage. Out of mana, Raph passes. Tristan then drops an island and casts Mind's Delation. Kitty reacts with Entomb, putting Dread Return to the graveyard. Power Smasher triggers and deals 7 to Raph. Allen drops a Yavi Maya Coast and recasts Arcades. Mind's Delation triggers and exiles Manictos. I go to combat, sending one wall to each opponent. Tristan and Raph take the damage while Kelly blocks with the army token. And before damage, she sacrifices the token to Gisa, creating a regular zombie. At the beginning of Kelly's upkeep, she amass 1. Raph should be dead here instead of being at 1, but it doesn't really matter as both Kelly and Tristan have cards on board that can kill him at any moment. Kelly activates Ayara to draw a card. She casts Ugin the Ineffable. Mind's Delation triggers and exiles Myriad Landscape. Kelly passes and at the end step, Tristan activates Thermo Alchemist for 1, which corrects Raph's fate. On his turn, Tristan recasts Chrom. Power Smasher deals 5 to me. At the end step, I cast Jeskai Barricade. Mind's Delation triggers and exiles Dusk. Tristan decides not to cast it. Entering the battlefield, I return Wall of Blossom to my hand before going to my turn. I then drop a Band Panorama and recast Wall of Blossom, triggering Tristan's Enchantment. I exile Skycloud Expense. Entering the battlefield, I draw two cards. I then cast Aura Shard. Tristan has something to say about it and taps Thermo Alchemist. He then casts the counter spell he tutored for, untapping the Alchemist. I was ready and reacts with Davin's Veto. Going to combat, Wall of Junk attacks Tristan, while Arcades goes to Kelly. Kelly creates a vampire with the Bloodline Keeper and blocks. At the rub keep, Kelly amass 1. She casts Arc and Signet, triggering the delation. It's a tragic slip without Morbid. Tristan still casts it on the 1 1 army token, triggering Vile Smasher for 1. Kelly reacts by sacrificing the army to Ayara. Vile Smasher deals 1 damage to me. Kelly casts Grey Merchant of Asphodel. Entering the battlefield, our devotion is equal to 9. <laughs> she plus 1 Ugin to create a 2 2 spirit and casts Phyrexian Altar. She can then sacrifice creatures to pay for Gissa's activation, creating a vampire and zombies to take out Tristan with the Ayara triggers. Well played. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and a special thank to the patrons of the channel, supporting our content directly. Take care my friend and we'll see you very soon.